Hey everybody, it's Chainsaw Reacts. Netflix has officially revealed our first look at the final season, as I'm calling it, the final season of The Witcher. It's The Witcher Season 3 official teaser. But I'm calling it the final season because it seems that a lot of people have either already dropped off the show or they're going to drop off after this season because this is the final season with Henry Cavill as Geralt. He is stepping down, and I believe it's Liam Hemsworth, I believe, that is taking over the role as Geralt. There's a lot of questions about what all happened behind the scenes and there's a lot of theories and rumors and some of it seems to be legit in terms of Henry's disapproval of certain things that occurred because season one he seemed to be pretty happy overall with what was happening in season one then season two there were some major shifts in the story and changes that he did not approve of and it seems probably happened again in season three so he was done he wasn't going to stick around to when the show finally concluded he was out he was done so they're going to push ahead with the new Geralt and there's been a lot of things uh, being said online about how Henry is going to have a epic send-off or whatever. But what does that entail in regards to why Geralt, like, his look changes for Season 4? I have no idea. So, we'll see what happens here. Let's check out this official teaser and uh, see what they show us here for our first official look at The Witcher Season 3, the final season. I'm kidding, but you know what I'm saying. Anyways. Literally, it is a teaser. Literally. Oh, they're splitting it. Of course they are. Of course they're splitting it. Okay. Of course they're splitting it. Of course they are. Let's go back a little bit here. So, what were those dates? I should have... I should have assumed because Netflix is starting to do this now with their bigger shows. They're splitting the episodes. So, volume one, June 29th. So, we have to wait basically a whole month for the second volume. Okay. Um, I'm wondering if this was planned before Henry does his departure or if this is because of Henry's departure and that they're wanting to make because here's the problem with what Netflix has been doing the last number of years Netflix has had great content however their release strategy has actually been hurting them more so in the long term because traditional television you watch it week by week, right? Unless you just binge it and wait for all to come out. But they release it week by week to build momentum. That's the whole point of television, right? To build momentum, because the perfect example of something that was more recent in terms of streaming, WandaVision, the first Disney Plus Marvel uh, show for Disney Plus, WandaVision was a week by week release. I think they released two episodes the first week, but they keep releasing an episode each week and it built the momentum. More people were tuning in and everything. And the same thing we have was House, House of the Dragon, The Last of Us, so, with what Netflix is trying to do is, instead of releasing all at once, all of a season at once, and then basically the the talk, the excitement, and the engagement online in terms of people talking about the show, and more people to know, hey, new season, this new show dropped, whatever, that it actually has been hurting because then the talk just dies down within like a week after the whole season drops. So now with this separation of Volume 1, Volume 2, or Part 1, Part 2 for these seasons... They're giving more talk because Shander thinks season four actually benefited from being separated out between two parts. And I believe the show You, which is really popular as well, had the same benefits. So that's what they're trying to do with The Witcher. They're trying to get hopefully some momentum for volume one, then that will build up momentum for volume two. So that's really what they were trying to do here was announce the dates and announce a volume one, volume two with this official teaser because they hardly show you anything in this. <laughs> they don't show you really much in this except for a couple of shots of our main characters and Geralt saying that he now truly understands fear for the first time or something. So who knows what that means? But uh, it literally is a teaser. This this literally was to show a little bit of footage with uh, the announcement of they're doing a volume one, volume two. So, you know, ahead of time. But this show has just been a rocky road ever since the beginning. Because the first season was really loved. It was really well loved by a lot of people. And then you get to, you get to season two. Did I say volume one? 
sorry, it's been it's been a crazy morning. But season one, season two, a lot of people had problems with it. And then you hear all the stories where Henry Cavill was not happy with the changes, and then then season three occurs, and then now we see where he is now gone. I don't know. It's going to be interesting to see how they what they do here. I, I am curious to see how they're going to explain the change of Geralt from Henry Cavill to Liam Hemsworth. I think it's Liam Hemsworth who's replacing him. I think that's, yeah, I believe that's correct. So we'll see. I don't know. But uh, what do you guys think of the official teaser? I'm curious to know your thoughts. Whatever thoughts you have, guys, let me know in the comments below. And are you guys going to be watching uh, Season 4 when it gets to that point with the new Geralt? Or are you, are you tuning out after this one? If, if, if you're even watching Season 3, let me know in the comments below. Talk to you guys soon. Peace out.